I really did kidnap somebody. Hello, and welcome back to another video. Today, I am in my studio, and it is time for another video. Since we aren't dead. Alright, story time. This story is true. I really did kidnap somebody. But before you go call the cops, let me tell you what really went down. It all started when I was 12. Back in middle school, me and my friend Lee. Welcome back everybody to the Cool Kids Club. Today, we're going to be playing some Mario Kart 7. Now this isn't any kind of Mario Kart 7, I'm taking it. Lee. Yes, the guy from this channel. Who we share. We had almost all the same classes together. Love you, bro. And one day, I asked if he wanted to come over. He said he wanted to. But since we were only dumb te tweens, you know, 12 year olds, he had to ask his parents. His mom told him no. And he, we got a bright idea to call his dad and ask. And his dad said yes, he could. But only if the mother said it was okay. Now, he. he so during the day, we were all sad that he couldn't come. And he, when it came time to leave, I told him to come with us because I never mentioned anything to my mother about him not coming over anymore. Because I, I didn't have a phone at the time, so how was I going to let her know? I guess I could have let her know in the parking lot as I was getting ready to leave. He was hesitant. I grabbed him and dragged him with me. I did it with no content. So don't arrest me. Okay. Later, after a few hours of playing Oddball, which is Halo, you know, a mini game, we dropped him off. We had to meet his mother. Since she was worried sick about him because he never got off the bus because he was with me and his parents contacted him. So he was hanging out for a couple hours. So we dropped him off. So I have an interview. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Oh, good. So, I was telling the story about how I kidnapped you back in middle school for my first story time video. I thought maybe you'd have something to include in it. Like, do you have any specific memory of it or anything? Oh, yeah, I do. Would you like to tell that? Oh yeah, sure. When, when do I tell it? <laughs> you can tell it right now. Okay, okay. Oh, that day, that day, let me tell you about that day. Uh, just every ordinary day. Go to school, doing your, doing your work, goofing off, playing games. Eat lunch, have a good time, talk with your friends, and then your friend comes up to you and says, Hey, you wanna come over? And I'm like, Yeah, dude, sure, why not? You know, you wanna wanna hang out with your friend? It's like, hey, I live all the way in Mexico. Like, that oh, was yeah, actually dude. China. <laughs> Thank you, it was China. Uh, well, I wasn't gonna say the actual thing in case like you know, 
doesn't want me to or not. Well, it was fine because um, they don't know if I'm talking about the country or not, so. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so continue. Uh, okay, cool. So yeah, come on down to Chinatown. We're gonna go. We're gonna hang out. And I was like, oh yeah, dude. And so you know, doing my classwork and watching that time as that clock ticks. Class is over, school is out, it's time to have fun. And I'm, um, um, Frank comes up to me, he says, Hey, you ready to, you ready to go, you, what, you ready to leave? And I was like, Yeah, sure, dude, where are we going? He said, You get in the car. I was like, What? And he's getting the car, Lee. I don't want, I don't want to get in the car. You get the, get the, get in the fucking car. I was like, okay, whatever, dude. I was like, yeah, he's my friend. You know, he's probably going to take me somewhere nice. I mean, the friend wouldn't do anything wrong. And then and then he said, sit on my lap. <laughs> he's like, and the driver said, whoa, a bumpy road ahead. <laughs> um, we were driving for what seemed like days, weeks, months. We were driving. I didn't know where I was. I could have been in China. Whoa. I could have been in China, but I didn't know. We were going all around the face of the earth. So that's my friend. Where are we going? Oh, I'm sorry. I was playing Minecraft. He said, we're going, we're going home. And I was like, okay. Now I hadn't told my parents. So I was in middle school, dude. I was, a, I was a rebel. I was, I was, you know, smoking joints, playing Modern Warfare 3 at midnight, drinking Red Bull. I was so cool. And tell my mom where I was. Oh, man, I should have told her where I was. We got, we, we parked at this abandoned house. This is, we parked at this house that looked abandoned. I was like, what's this place? And I said, hey, this is home. And, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should have run. Or if I should have just stayed. I, I I went in and my uncle um, <clears throat> I went in and um I, I went in and they're like, Hey, you wanna play you wanna play some video games? Like, yeah, sure I did. I like video games. Video games are pretty good. They're like, we got this new video game where you uh, where you play with a controller. You play with something called the Wii. I died in Minecraft. No. He said, uh, sorry. They said oh, we got. It's, it's called the Wii. And you play with it. And you shake it. I was like, oh, that sounds pretty fun. And then we went into a room, and the room was dark. And I was like, where's the Wii? And I'm like, the controller is, it's, it's long. And you just, you, you play this game in the dark. I was like, okay. And they're like, just grab the Wii. I was like, no, I don't want to. They said, yes, do it. And so I, I grabbed the Wii. And um, I played, uh, I played that one game on the Nintendo Switch, where you gotta milk a cow. Except I was doing it vertically. And... I was... I was... I was playing with Wii. And I just kept hearing these noises. All these noises, all these weird noises. Almost sounds like despair, but more sensual than anything. for the weed for about five minutes until my hand got really wet. I was like, what the f*** is going on here? And then, um, it was revealed to me that the Wii was a Wii, but not any kind of Wii. A Wii Wii. And I just got japed, and, and now I'm gay. 
Lee. Yeah. That was a nice story, but can you actually tell the real one this time? Like, what you actually remember or not? I mean, you could joke around a little bit, but you totally took a right turn there somewhere. Okay. Um, yeah, so it was middle school, and my friend was like, hey, you want some over? And I was like, yeah, sure. So we got a lead. <laughs> I, um, I was going to hang out with my friend. I mean, I was in middle school. I, I always wanted to hang out with people, and uh, I was trying to be a social advocate, even though I was a loser on the inside. Um, but I didn't tell my parents I was going to go hang out with my friend. Uh, I just assumed they would have been fine with it. I mean, uh, I've known him my entire life, and uh, so it should be fine, theoretically, or at least that's what I thought. It wasn't uh, like I was going to kidnap you in a white van or anything? Nah. All right, you can continue. I'm sorry. I keep interrupting you. Okay. You know, so uh, everything was good. I mean, I'd never actually seen China uh, before. I didn't even know it existed. But we went to China, and it was great. I mean, it was... I'd never seen it, so it was, it was, a, it was a good experience seeing something you haven't before, and um, it's a pretty beautiful place. Pretty nice kind of meme going. And um, so we were hanging out, you know, we were just having a good old time, playing some uh, playing some games. And, uh, you know, time's passing. We're having fun, doing things, playing wrestling games. And, uh, actually, to be honest, I don't completely know what happened. I just know that somehow my, my parents had contacted me or Zach or Zach's parents, wondering where I was, because uh, I hadn't told them. And, you know, me assuming that uh, my, my parents would have been chill with it, I was just like, hey, mom, I'm just, you know, slouching with Zach. And then I was like, is there any kind of inherent problem with that? And, you know, like, yeah, no, not really. But, uh, I mean, I had never been over with a, uh, this side of Zach's family before, and um, so they they had a, 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 some form of concern, uh, and when I told them that I was all the way in China, they, you know, they were they weren't entirely thrilled, um, and that uh, I don't know. I tried to persuade my parents that everything was fine and that I could just stay there, but my mother insisted that I were to leave. And once she found out that I was all the way in China, she was like, God damn, that's going to take like a long time to for me to get home again. So we had to, uh, we had to drive halfway from China to some place. Um, and then my mother picked me up from there, and um, I went. I went home to where I went. I E T went home. And oh, my ship was off. That's like that. But it was a pretty good, pretty good time. I mean, I, oh shit! I think there was a oh, shit. I think there was like a lizard, some shit. It was a had. snake. A snake? Yeah, same thing. Um, he was pretty cool. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure I remember playing like WWE or some, something. We're playing like wrestling games, is that right? Yeah, we were also playing some oddball. Right, 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 right. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty small at the time. Um, sadly, after that, um, Zach had his own family parting ways issues, and I was, I never had the time, or I never took the time to go over there again before it was too late to the point where I couldn't. Um, 
But I mean, if I if I if I had known or if I had cared more, I would have. I would now. I just didn't then. Yeah, that's that's uh, how it. I guess. Yeah, that wasn't the sto- That was the story. Sorry, it wasn't too exciting. But we have other memories together, like our fatal triangle. The childhood is him being my bully, and we're still friends. And his mom doesn't hate me for it. She may hate me for another reason, but it's definitely not that. So, thanks, pal, for a good time and not hating on me. Like, comment, nice things, and subscribe. Bye. I'll see you guys in the next video.